Sabatika, everybody. Today we are on the hunt for some new clothes in one of Thailand's biggest wholesale and clothes markets. Today we are on the Pratunam market here in Bangkok. So join us on the hunt for some new clothes. It is Saturday morning right now and that obviously means that it's very, very busy all around. And uh, you can already see that this is a giant maze basically. So you have streets going this way, very long streets going that way, very long streets going this way. So there's definitely no shortage uh, of offerings of clothes. So we will have to figure out where to go and uh, what to have a look at. It just seems to be very, very busy. A lot of hustle and bustle here everywhere. And as always, if you are in and around Thailand, there's always food. <laughs> That's our biggest problem, I think. For sure, yeah. Uh, Pratunam market, it seems to be a day market and a night market. And it certainly seems to be very busy right about now. And it is currently only roughly around 2.30 p.m. in the afternoon. So uh, it is quite late, I guess you could say, in the day. But there's so many people here. The midday heat is in full effect. Let's see what we can find today in Pratunam. This market has been recommended to us many many times uh, down in the comment section from you guys and uh, yeah just a quick thank you to all of you guys for watching our videos if you're watching this video thank you so much for joining along today is going to be a little bit of a chaotic one i can already tell i'm going to turn you guys around just to show you i already oh. found the first t-shirt that i would like to have how cute is that you have like a cat coming out of the pocket it's adorable Tons of different t-shirt designs. You do have, as Naomi said, loads of food stalls. And just literally just across the road from Pratunam, you have the massive Platinum Fashion Mall as well. It's massive. We just went in there to get a quick uh, milk tea, basically to refresh ourselves and get a little bit caffeinated. And that Platinum Mall is so large, it's insane. Yeah, it is crazy. Um, it's actually another place that was highly recommended to us to check out. But yeah, guys, let's go for a little bit of a deep dive here into Pratunam. Clothes on top of clothes on top of more clothes. And as always, you have these guys that are driving through on mopeds that are making, guys, yeah. making deliveries. It's very cool to experience them winding and turning around the crowds of people. I could never. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you need some serious, uh, some serious driving skills for this. And here you can see all of the deliveries sort of being offloaded or maybe different orders that are being packaged. It appears to be basically giant warehouses on either side and then you have a street that cuts through all of these warehouses and you just have basically a constant organized chaos going on. And I read online as well that obviously if you have a business, this is a wholesale market. So the more quantity you buy, the cheaper the product gets. Now that's not applicable for us because we might need one or two t-shirts. Yeah. But if you're looking to buy like 100 or 200 t-shirts, I'm sure that the price decreases significantly. That's true. I had a little heat stroke there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unbelievably hot as always so far since we've arrived in Bangkok. Um, the heat has been tremendously hot. But yeah, you can get some pretty good deals from what I can see so far. They have a lot of different uh, pricing points. Charming Ragdoll. Her name is Abigail. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of cat-themed t-shirts. Oh, you also have some Oyets. Oh. Nice. Oh God, if you go inside, they have an entire market area there inside as well with even more stands. Yeah. Crazy. I'm sure that you um, can literally come here and get lost for hours and hours. Kind of comparable, I guess, to Chatu Chak Market, which we've done a video on. But this seems to be less touristy than the Chatu Chak Market. Chatu Chak is definitely, there was a lot of tourists there. We haven't really seen many at all apart from us here so far. There is just an endless amount of different things that you can check out here. 
and you're always running the risk to burn yourself in one of these deep fryers yeah. in the middle of the road. Look at that. Mm. Looks very yummy. Let's go deeper into Pratunam. I'm just gonna keep rolling so you guys can really get feel like you're coming on a walk with us into this market. <laughs> Naomi nearly got hit by that, that bike. So close. <laughs> So every single turn you have alleyways literally crammed full of different clothing designs. No matter what size you are, no matter what design you're looking for, no matter what sort of brand imitation you might be looking for, you're going to definitely find it here. I'm sure you can haggle the prices down here as well. I'm sure, I mean obviously a lot of things do have a price tag. Yep. But I guess every price is negotiable, right? So I'm sure you can haggle it quite a bit here. Oh yeah, I'd say so. I'd say it's well worth uh, trying to haggle. We have noticed though that in a lot of Thailand so far, or a lot of Bangkok in different markets, a lot of the prices are non-negotiable. But um, let's see what we can do here. We're probably going to be walking for quite some time here today. Get at getting our steps up. I think it's of, be of benefit if you speak, do speak Thai. Because if, I think if you speak Thai, prices are a lot more negotiable than if you don't. Yeah. It's always difficult to negotiate if you don't speak the same language. That's very true. Beautifully designed, some of these alleyways. And um, some of the designs here are just so interesting so unique this is really cool for example loads of different sort of uh, graphic tees here I love this ah, one. i'm not lazy i'm energy efficient box bunny <laughs> it's like a dress like the one i'm wearing nice <laughs> like an oversized t-shirt spongebob fans there you go One hundred baht. That's not bad. Not bad at all. We're trying to uh, not not spend a crazy amount of money, but still pick up a couple of things, and also obviously bring you guys along with us. But uh, wow, some of these are really cool. Care Bear, Rainbow Energy. <laughs> how cute is this? Do you think they have it in my size? Also, how much is? It? I'm not sure. I saw a sign that said one hundred. So. Hello. 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 How much are the dresses? 200 baht. 200 baht? Yeah. 200, okay. Should I get one? 200. For rainbow energy? I love it. It's really thin. Rainbow energy. See what size they have. You have this one, Care Bear for me. I don't know, large. I have only one size. Oh, it's all one size? Yeah. Oh. They had a lot of choice in that shop, but unfortunately it was all one size. And I'm quite tall, so I'm not necessarily average standard Thai <laughs> girl. Um, so I don't think that that uh, dress would have suit, suit me or fitted me. The hunt continues through this absolutely massive clothing market. <laughs> Look at this mannequin. Big head. They have really cool t-shirts in here. Oh yeah, some really, really nice looking t-shirts. Tons of different designs. They also have hats and stuff like that as well. So one piece, 120, three piece for 300. That's actually a really good deal. Wow. I love this design here. It's super simple. Oh, that's nice. For you? I love it. Maybe it would be long enough for you. Yeah. Hold it on. Possibly. Looks like it's long enough. Yeah, I might need a larger one. Shoulders are pretty short. I'm sure they have other sizes, larger sizes. Thank you. <laughs> what is the largest size you have? You have XL and... Yeah, I have XL. Okay. Medium, large, extra large. Oh, this is really nice. I like this design. This also have XL. Yeah? That's XL. I have two colors. These are different. Ooh. Which one do you prefer? Uh, this one. <laughs> this is a nice one. It's 150 baht per shirt. If you get three, it's 400. We can yeah, we can t-shirt share. <laughs> I really like this one. Yeah, you have uh, this one in, yeah, in extra large. 
Yeah. I like this one. Yeah, also large. Would also need extra large. Yep. This one do extra large. This one large only. Large only. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Have extra large. That's nice. You yeah. like this one? Love it. That one not so much. One two. You have this one extra large? Yes, I take stuff. Okay, okay. Which color you want, Mom? I give you all the new one. Yeah. We go in, have a look around yes, inside. Go <laughs> punka, sotika. All right, guys. So we. Oh, look at that. Dried aliens. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it was dried squid, but it looked like the heads of dried aliens. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so we got three t-shirts. Three t-shirts for 400 baht. That's a. Uh, it's not a bad deal at all. Really cool. Really Actually, cool. very very happy it's with like the designs. 11 euro. Yeah. For three t-shirts. Three t-shirts for like 11 11 bucks. And um, right now we're literally very much so in the middle of the madness right now in terms of the busyness and the crowdedness. There's a lot going on and Naomi is currently checking out some summer dresses. No, dungarees. Dungarees? Oh. oh, sorry. Dungarees. Cool. But with a cool pattern. It's just a textile is very thick. If this was like a thin textile, I think I would buy them immediately. But it's very. I think it would sweat a lot. Yeah, it might be a bit on the on the sweaty side. But they're really cool designs. Ah, oh, look at these ones. It would look like you came from the 70s. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> yes. I actually don't know where we're going at all. Like it's so, it's so big. I have no idea where we are or where we're going. Yeah. Pretty much as soon as we came in here, we got lost. So I think uh, I think that's kind of the theme for a lot of markets in Bangkok. You come inside to the market, you get captured by just how cool the stuff is that they're selling, and then all of a sudden you're lost in the madness. I love it. I think uh, the price is for one 120. 90 baht is wholesale price. 90 baht wholesale. But I think it's 120 for one. That's not bad. How do you think? I love it just because what it says. <laughs> it's so cute with the dolphins as well. Try and find the salesperson. Today is going to be a day full of buying t-shirts. If this is anything to go by, we're going to be buying a ton of t-shirts today. I don't know why, but there's just so many really cool t-shirt designs all around here. Yeah, one is for 120. Okay. I'm thinking, should I be getting this one? It's cute, no? What do you think? Do you see yourself wearing it? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> but should I get it in this color or in the pink? Ah, oh, this color. This color is nicer, you think? Yeah, it's more wearable. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. 120 baht. Shopping spree in Pratunam Market. Crazy. I think it will fit. Oh, yeah, they're stretchy. Yeah? Yeah. One size, 70 baht. 70 baht, that's a good price. Nice. Comfy. Comfy yeah, you're happy with the design as well. Yeah, well, I was looking actually for these types of pants for a very, very long time, um, but I could only find the long ones. Nice. And I just want some short ones for like to stay at home, you know, to just relax on the couch, not necessarily to be the elephant pant girl outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I take this. Okay. Can you hold this for yeah, a second? Sure. I look for the money. <laughs> money is coming out of every pocket. Ah, Kapkun Krab! Krab! Happy days! Happy days! Finally got my elephant pants! It goes Amen. into the bag! Check out this by the way guys! Uh, there's like a noodle shop over here! I'm gonna bring you over just around the corner! But look at this! Some little uh, sort of food stall! And they have loads of these really nice pictures! Of kind of old school bikes, pickup trucks! It's really sort of just a cool looking little place to get some food or maybe a cold nice drink. Fan. They also have a nice fan, yeah. I love it. Kind of like an American style little spot. American style boat noodles. <laughs> American style boat noodle shop, yeah. Wow. Okay, so we've already bought quite a lot of uh, different items. Oh, oh. Coming from all sides now. Literally, yeah. <laughs> it's very, very hard to not keep moving in order to try and uh, bounce around all of the different movement that's going on. Can we somehow get into the inside of this? There's a Krung Thai ATM. I'm currently looking for an ATM so that we can buy some food. Oh yeah, sure. Let's try and find There's the ATM. One close. 
We'll try and find it, yep. I can't even describe, guys, the, the sheer size of this market is just madness. It kind of just sprawls out over an entire area of, uh, of uh, Bangkok. One of the things that we love so much about Thailand is convenience. We were literally in the middle of this market and I was uh, speaking to Luke before and I said, we really need some more cash and I don't think that there will be an ATM anywhere close, but guess what? There is. And we can actually take out money in the middle of this crazy street market. So that's amazing. Uh, we can take out some money and then ho hopefully get something to eat because I'm starting to get hungry and something iced to drink, please, as well. Yeah, insanely hot today. I think it's a right around 37 right now, 36, 37, but it feels like 45. It's actually 38. 38. <laughs> and it feels like 42. So there you go. Yep. <laughs> really hot. Insane. So Naomi is currently on the hunt for some sunglasses and we found this stand here where they're selling them for just 50 baht. 50 baht. So 2 euro, 1 euro 80. What do we think about these ones? Oh, they're nice. Are they? I love them. Oh yeah, they're really cool. Really cool. I think I might take them. They're perfect. First try. <laughs> first try, first buy. There you go. Today is a money spending type of day. Yep. An absolute shopping spree today here at Pratunam. The two euro Thai glasses will substitute my one euro India glasses. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Loads of different designs uh, for you to choose from. And 50 baht, you can't really go wrong. After taking out that money, we got a quick refreshment. We basically each had a Coca-Cola the size of our own body weight. There's so many delivery uh, guys around this market maze that you literally cannot stop walking or somebody will walk into you. Anyway, uh, you're gonna get a two for one deal today. We're gonna go over to the Platinum Mall um, to get something to eat because after we took that money out, we were trying to find the boat noodle shop again, but there was no way that we were gonna find that. So we're just gonna go over to Platinum Mall, which is just straight ahead there across the road. So we're gonna go there and uh, hopefully have a very nice meal down there, so we're gonna see what they have to offer. Uh, we already saw that there's loads and loads of different cuisines, so let's just check it out and see what we come up with to eat, basically. Who's having? It's too hot to be in those massive crowds in the mall, in the market. In the mall. In the mall. Careful. Wow. How does he do that? Okay, so we're headed over now to Platinum Fashion Mall. And I love these sort of cross bridges that you have all over Bangkok where you can cross the street totally safely at an elevated level. It gives you such beautiful views over the traffic and over the landscape of Bangkok. It's really gorgeous. And this right here is the Platinum Fashion Mall. One of the best mall. This is apparently one of the best malls to come to if you want to buy anything in terms of fashion or beauty. And we also saw that they do have uh, a food section as well. So that's what we're mainly going to go and check out. And maybe we'll show you guys a little bit of the fashion mall as well. Let's go check it out. On the very first day when we arrived in Bangkok, our host actually said that this entire area, so Platinum Mall, Pratunak Market, is one of the best areas to come for shopping if you want to get good value for your money. He was not lying, it's, uh, it's crazy. If you can see this, it's stall upon stall upon stall of um, generally smaller sellers basically that are selling different type of clothes, different swimwears, different accessories, everything that you can imagine you will find it here and uh, you can also get lost. I think we just got lost again. Oh my god. <laughs> Duck life. <laughs> Stylish. Can you see something through them? Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Perfectly. Whee! We made it to the top floor, to the food section of Platinum Mall. Um, it's on the sixth floor of this crazy mall 
and uh, yeah you have choices over choices over choices there's so many different types of food so many different cuisines it's literally extremely difficult right now to even decide what we're going to have to eat do you have something specific that you have appetite for to be honest i've no idea this is totally brand new for us so i think we're gonna have to walk around for a few try and gather some information based off of what is actually here and then make a decision but um i'm pretty sure it's going to be very tasty because it's so busy up here people seem to really enjoy the food that is being sold here exactly people seem to be enjoying it and also it's always a good sign if you see loads and loads of locals enjoying the food and uh, i can see nothing but locals right now so i think it is a very very good sign that the food here is going to be tasty there are so many people from all over thailand uh, you do see some uh, Westerners, so some Europeans, I guess, and some Indians every now and then. But the majority of the people here are Thai, so I do think it's a very good sign uh, for the quality of the food here. Let's find probably the busiest shop and uh, then we will see how good the food there is. We found a place. Um, sorry, oh, what is the place called? Name of place? Sheila. Couple. Ah, okay. Ah, okay, perfect. We're gonna have a look. Kapkunka. <laughs> I think the restaurant is called Chila. I'm not 100%. I tried to ask, but I'm not sure. <laughs> they have a lot of different interesting stuff. They've got tom yum noodles, they've got rice with crispy pork, barbecued red pork as well. Oh my god, I don't even know what to choose from. Why don't we get several small bowls? Yeah. Just to try, maybe we can do get two small bowls each? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, why don't we get a small tom yum? I would get a, a small thickened soup noodle and then... Tom yum and this one. And then we'll see if we're still hungry. Okay. Yeah? Yes, yes. Okay. One of this, uh, one of this. Spicy, okay? Uh, spicy. Spicy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spicy, spicy. <laughs> okay, kap kung ka. There is a big language barrier, but that's because we came into the only place that's here where there was absolutely no English on the in the name. So, very, very interested to see what we can find in terms of flavors. It usually means when there's no English and there's no tourists that it's the best place to come to. So, that's why we're here. Exactly. We were walking around a little bit for a while to see where the most locals are and where it's the busiest. And it seems like uh, we just found just the place. <laughs> and uh, if you're interested in knowing the... Ah, it's called Prana, Prana Corn Boat Noodle. That's okay. what it's called. Here you have it in Thai as well, <laughs> obviously. Uh, still can't read that, but uh, I'm trying. <laughs> we're trying really hard to learn. So. Okie dokie guys, so two dishes came out, basically we have a tom yum noodle soup, it's from what it looks like, this is this bad boy here, looks absolutely incredible, as always we got like a side salad of these bean sprouts, I love these bean sprouts and they go so well a lot of times with different uh, dishes that you get all over Bangkok, pretty much everywhere that we get food so far around Bangkok they'll give you this on the side just to sort of mix and match and adds a different sort of texture to your uh, boat noodles I believe this is Tom Yum boat noodles but um, let's give Tom Yum a try oh we also got this one here as well and this was listed on the menu as thicken noodle soup um, I'm not too sure what exactly the thickened part is. Probably has to do with the congealed blood that is inside that gives it sort of a thickened soup taste. But um, I'm very excited to try this Tom Yum. I haven't had any Tom Yum since we've arrived in Thailand, believe it or not. So I haven't actually tried it yet. So I'm just basically gonna mix all of this goodness in together. You do have these sort of like crispy crispy little bites in here as well. Some sort of meat, I believe it might be a, a fish or a chicken. So I'm gonna try these two. These are fish, yeah? Uh, this is fish. Tom Yum is usually with fish, no? Usually with yeah. fish, yeah. So let's give it a try, guys. Oh, wow. 
that is incredible. How spicy is it on the Farang spiciness level? It's not very spicy. It is building a little bit in the spice. The taste of the fish meat, the texture of that crunchy, almost sort of like a, it's almost kind of like a fried tortilla chip or something. Or something. I just swallowed some chili flakes. <laughs> and then you do have... It's a 25 on the Farang spiciness yeah. level. <laughs> We also have these little things here as well. <laughs> There's chili flakes literally coating my throat right now. We also have these. And guys, if you haven't noticed, I'm getting better with the chopsticks. I'm slowly starting to learn because I'm, I am kind of forced to use them now almost on a daily basis. But they have these little balls here, so let's try this. Mmm! Fish ball, ball full of fish. Ball full of fish. Really nice. Very sort of like a, almost like a squeaky type of texture to it. But um, very, very nice, very fishy. And I love actually the level, the taste level here. It's kind of salty, it's kind of spicy. And then you also have so many different layers of texture with the crunchy sort of tortilla chips in there too. You want to give the tom yum or the ticket a try? I'm gonna... I'm gonna go with the thickened pork soup. Um, we decided to go with rice noodles. So you can basically decide what type of noodles you want. There's just like normal egg noodles or rice noodles or I don't know. There were like five or six different types basically. And I'm just gonna straight go in with the rice noodles. Right. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. This is very tasty, wait, let me try and get a piece of that pork onto the spoon. Mm. This is very nice. We ordered it on the spicy side of things, but this one is not so spicy. Yeah. So um, if you do recall the last time we were in a market, we actually got this type of soup as well, and that was way spicier than this one. Oh. I don't know what this is. I, th I think it might be a sausage ball. Yeah, it's a sausage ball. Really nice. Mm. What is this? Crispy. <laughs> really good. Mm. Are we making some sort of mukbang video here now? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is very nice. It's super good. It's way better than I thought it would be. And for a mall food court, this is absolutely amazing. I think I never had fruit that is this good in a mall yep. ever the tom yum is absolutely delicious as well the tom yum really is running good. away from you yep. very curious to see if i'm gonna suffer with the spice level hmm. oh yeah yours is way spicier than mine yep. mm. oh the fried fish pots are are they squid or is it fish? Kind of tastes like squid because it is like kind of squeaky. It's on the squeaky side of life, yeah. Very interesting. Both of them are really, really nice. And the small, the small bowl goes for 20 baht, which is like 80 cents, I believe. Yeah. And the large bowl goes for 80 baht, which is like two euro. Very, very incredibly affordable. Very affordable. And this is gonna fill you up, so you can really get full for roughly around two euro. And you get super, super high quality, fresh food that is like, if you were to sell this in Europe, it would be like on a Michelin star type of cuisine. So I don't know, we have to move here, I think. I can never go back. Okay guys, so that was a long, long day, packed full of shopping and then some really, really nice food just to sort of close it off on a very, very tasty note. We have so many new clothes as well uh, that we are celebrating a lot because we're usually not the type of people that go shopping a lot. So uh, I'm super happy with the items that we got. Yeah, for sure. Bangkok is literally the perfect city to come and come prepared with some money. If you do want to do some shopping, this is literal paradise for you guys. And right now we made our way back to the BTS station 
and we're going to basically just make our way back to our apartment and maybe try on some of the clothes that we just got. For sure, I cannot wait. But for now guys, my name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We are the two mad explorers. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. See you guys in the next Thailand adventure. Top Kung Kha for watching. Top Kung Krua. Bye bye. Bye bye.